Hi guys and welcome to the third part of this uh, tutorial series for creating a uh, first person weapon for CryEngine 3 SDK. Uh, in this part of the tutorial we're just going to create the material and get the material working. Uh, have a quick look at that inside a sandbox. Um, so first of all, I'm just within Max, I'm just going to start to set up my material. So I'm just going to grab any empty slot within the material editor. I'm just going to create um, a multi sub object. Um, I'm just going to discard the old one. Set the number to two because that's the number of uh, sub materials that we've got, or sub objects or sub materials in there that we've got for our um, for our weapon. I'm just going to go in here. I'm just going to go to standard. I'm going to grab and pop the Crytek shader on there, like that. And I'm just going to go back up a level, drag and drop that onto that one. Make sure it's set to copy, not instance. Make sure it's copy. And then I'm just going to rename re re this. Um, I'm actually going to change the name of my material slightly as well um, from what I what I did in the previous tutorial. I mean, we'll go back and I'll show you exactly how we're going to do that. But I'm just going to call it Uzi Silenced Material, like that. So we've got that just like that. Okay. Um, next thing we want to do is just name these body and axe for accessories. Um, and that's fine. I'm just going to give that a quick save. I'm going to go into here, which will be our first one, which is our body. Now I'm just going to want to make sure we've got show standard map um, in viewport selected. Go down here. I'm just going to go to bump. I'm going to get a bitmap, and then we're going to grab our folder for our file from our textures folder um, within our build of CryEngine. So all we're going to want to do now is grab the body normals, I think it's called, should be that one, yep, make sure they're all the TIFF files as well, don't select any ones that you don't want, make sure each time that you're adding one of these materials you click in show standard map and viewport, and then just going to go to specular, do the same again, um, and then we're just going to do the same for diffuse colour, um, which will be our, our body diffuse like that one, um, okay, so that's all of those. Um, make sure we have that ticked. And jump up another level. I'm just going to go to accessories. And we're just going to repeat that process. So, But this time we're going to grab the accessories uh, maps rather than the body. Um, like that. And then. Uh, this one here. Okay, there we go. So now I'm just going to drag and drop that material onto the weapon so we can see it. Close the material. Well, no, we'll leave material editor open actually. Just going to save that. And now what we want to do is we want to open up um, Sandbox in the background so that we can export our material file. So I'm just going to fire that up. Log in. Okay, just going to minimise that in the background. With the material selected, I'm just going to go to Tools here. I'm going to go to the CryEngine 3 exporter and scroll down until we get to Material. And I'm just going to click From Max to create material. And then we're going to make sure we're in the right directory, which is Uzi Silenced. And we're going to name this Uzi Silenced. Now it's very important as well, actually, that you make sure that you aren't like I am uh, inside. I'm just going to close this quickly because otherwise we're going to have a problem. Uh, just make sure that you are in this section here so that you can see both of the um, both of the materials. You aren't inside. You aren't inside one of the one of the one of the individual materials. You want it so that it's kind of at the the highest point that it can be. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to click that again, um, and we're just going to call this Uzi. Silenced um, material. I'm just going to click save. Now that's taken in the two um, sub materials as well, so you can see all the individual um, textures there within within um, Sandbox. So that's worked. Just going to click the save button here. Click that again, and it's called Uzi Silence Material now. So just going to close that. Just going to minimise Max. And I'm actually going to close the CryEngine because we're going to play about with some of the files again very quickly. So we just need to go now into, I believe, the CDF file. Yeah, 
and here we actually need to change this. I, I called it map before, but I'm just going to call it material. Um, I'm just going to click save. Now, hopefully, um, what I'm going to do first, actually, I'm just going to just going to close that out. And I'm actually going to re-export my um, CHR file because just just to be sure more than anything. So I'm just going to pop into here. I'm going to close the material out like that. I'm going to pick the weapon, and once again. It's going to go all the way up to here and click export nodes. Then I'm just going to go inside of my max file, grab the CHR. I'm going to cut that. And I'm going to paste it into here. Now, hopefully, I'm just going to jump back into a sandbox now. And hopefully, with a bit of luck, we should be able to see our material um, on, on the weapon. So I'm just going to open up the um, forest level again to bear with while this just loads. So turn off sound and music and stuff and now if I jump in there we go we've now got our Uzi with a material in so as you can see um, I mean this is on tweaks I haven't changed any of the, the values for specularity or uh, gloss or anything like that so this is just kind of as it's imported I mean you can go back into the material editor and play about with that later on but what you can see now obviously was we do have a material on the on the weapon um, it's behaving um, as it should do um, apart from the fact that it needs some animations now, so yeah, that's where we're up to now. We've got, we've you know, we've obviously skinned, exported, uh, applied a material to our weapon. The next thing that we're going to want to do is uh, create some animations. Um, so I think we'll kind of move on to that now. Um, so I'm just going to just going to move on to the next part of the tutorial. Cheers.